So with 3.0 officially out, a lot of new experiences have occurred, such as, for example, new target lists, new simulacras being added to 3.0, familiar statues, and how to activate them. But I want to go over most importantly is Leo Hyo's aka Brush, which has a lot to work with, and personally, I think she has proven herself to be a, one of the best flame units you can obtain as of where 3.0 stands. So with all that being said, let's dive into Leo Hyo's and see what she can do to benefit your flame teams moving forward. First, let's gonna dive into Leo Hyo's kit. Where you first obtain Leo, you'll notice a big difference in comparison to other flame characters. Aside from your usual flame residence, which provides a flame buff by 50% and a flame resistance by 25. She's introduced with the ability Fiery Explosion, which is an on-field skill. How Fiery Explosion works is by hitting your enemies with Pine Comet, which will then damage nearby enemies that are all around. By doing so, you'll deal damage equal to 105% of your flame attack, which will also be stacked on top of your 1.5% of your Wanderer's HP, which is then again stacked up again with all of your Wanderer's resistances by 55%, while also gaining a 200% increase towards your crit damage. If you just happen to have another elemental weapon aside from all your flames that you usually would have carried, you'll gain a 1.3 multiplier to your Pine Comet's attacks. This is all at a zero, by the way. However, at A1, your Sparrow Feather when hitting a target, however, will start a spreading effect which will deal area damage to 50% from burn and incendiary damage. This will also follow up with Sparrow Burn, which spreads as well with the addition bonus of having a reset towards your Sparrow Burn's duration, which can trigger once every 5 seconds. At A3, once your HP is less than 50%, or in which case half, for every half a second, you will consume one Sparrow Feather, which will then grant you a 1.5 recovery of your max HP. On top of this, if you're playing solo, your recovery will be doubled from your max HP, which is a 3% recovery rate. However, this will only work until you're either at max HP during the recovery process or if you run out of Sparrow Feathers at the process. The plus side to this is that this applies to the off slot so you won't have to keep Pine Comet out for it to take effect to its maximum potential. At A5, you'll be granted with immunity when encountering a near-death experience, and will gain a 60 Sparrow Feather instantly, along with a weapon charge of 1000. And at A6, you'll receive a 14% flame damage increase when under Pinnacle State. So with Leo Ho's advancements explained, the teams that best complement her are Leo, Lan, and Annabella. This team best supports A1 Leo since the total burn is calculated overall. Annabella can be used for a long range burning tally, and Lan can be initiate burn by placing her parasols on the field in close range proximity. The next team is Liu, Lan, and Lin, and with this team, A1 Leo can cause area damage, which can be further capitalized when Lin 2 can do something about this to further support her team. With Lin, she can place out her Moonlight Realm, which thanks to Lon and Liu sharing the same typing, Lin's Moonlight Realm will turn into a Flame Moonlight Realm, and once the enemies are inside it, they'll burn for an extra 4 seconds, and if the target has a shield, then you'll be doing an extra 50% towards your flame damage towards the shielded targets. Since Liu also has area damage, Liu can take advantage of Lin's Flame Realms to the maximum. For you see, with Lon, she can also benefit from this since she has Vermilion Strength. And what this does is, by equipping the weapon, you'll be granted with a multiplier towards your ammo cost, damage, charge, shatter attempts when polyfeather paracels are placed. This means that everyone on the team can maximize their offensive capabilities at a consistent route. So this team is definitely all about accumulating as much damage as possible. Up next is Liu, Lan, and Zero. Since the only difference on this team is Zero, introduction, I'll just explain why he's on your recommended teams of, for the time being. Zero is added to the team because of wide varieties of buffs, but mainly for his healing consistencies along with some other buffs that he can provide to your team. 
Fire is currently lacking in healers, so to make up for that, Zero will be filling in the blank till further characters are added in the distant future regarding healing. So with this, you have Lon's Multiplier, Lose area damage along with her DPS combat ability on top of that and Zero who's going to buff your team overall performance by providing heals and attack buffs to the rest of your team moving forward. For this team I recommend you have Liu to be at A3 for further consistency overall since when Liu is at A3 she will recover a maximum of 3% of her HP per either feather or if you happen to run out of HP at the time that the recovery process would have been done. If you just so happen to have a Frost, Volt, or Physical weapon in your setup, you'll be doing a 1.3 times more damage multiplier regarding your explosion. So overall, Liuhu is a very solid character with more versatility being added into the flame comps, though I hope one day we will get another flame support healer. Till then, we will be sticking with Zero for another long time. But aside from that, Leo at A1 to A3 is your ideal mark. However, for my free to plays and low spenders out there, A0 to A1 is good enough since at A0 she already has an explosive kit that stays on on field as it is. So you could definitely benefit from that, especially with her multiplier, depending on if you have at least one other elemental weapon aside from flame in your arsenal. And as for my dolphins and whales, A3 is good since she can heal herself as long as you have the right setup with her sparrow feathers. That is, if you want to go higher than that, be my guess, but A3 is very dependable. If you're looking to heal with Zero's help, that especially capitalizes with A3 a lot more sufficiently than you may think. But overall, how do you all feel about Liuhu? Is she meeting your expectations? Comment your thoughts below, and as always, this is your boy Kizuro, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.